All right, let's get practicing in QuickBooks Online. Grab the link below so that you can follow along. Today we're going to be walking through Add a Service to Sell. This comes from Section 1, Lesson 7 of our basic certification course. You can find the link right there. And uh, if you would like access to tons more hands-on practice exercise, you can join our free Facebook group, which the link is right here. So let's go ahead and start our exercise. As usual, we're going to start in the sample company. So here I am in my QuickBooks Online Accountant account. I click the gear icon and select Sample Company. If you don't know how to get out your free QBOA account or access the sample company, there's a link below with information about that. I'm going to click Continue. And while that's loading, I'm going to hop back over to our exercise and read the scenario. Craig's Design and Landscaping is going to start offering an annual system maintenance for customers with irrigation systems. He will be charging $500 for this service. This needs to be added to his list of services so that he can easily invoice his customers and see it appear in his accounting. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. From the left navigation bar, we're going to select Sales and then click Products and Services. So from the left navigation bar here, we're going to click Sales and then Products and Services. Okay, step two in the upper right hand corner, click the green New button, not the arrow next to it. Okay, so right here, this New button, not this arrow next to it. Heading back to our exercise, step three is to click Service. Click service. Okay. And then steps four and five, complete the product slash service form as follows. We're going to give it the name irrigation. We're going to call it uh, annual system maintenance. Our sales price is going to be $500. So let's go ahead and just put in that much. So name is irrigation. Our description is annual system maintenance. Our sales price is $500. And then let's talk about this income account. Back here on our exercise, it says note that the sample company will automatically select services as the income account. This is the account from the chart of accounts that will track the money collected from the sale of this service. Okay. Step five, we will not be learning about sales tax at this time, so click Confirm to choose the recommended category, then click Save and Close. Okay, so we're just going to leave the income account as is. We're going to click uh, Confirm and then Save and Close. All right, going back to um, my exercise. All right, so now the service appears in the product and services list and can be selected on sales forms. So let's see if we scroll down. All right, and there it is, irrigation, annual system maintenance, $500. Now let's see what it would look like on a sales form. If I go to uh, click new and we'll just look at a sales receipt. In the products and services field, I would select irrigation. Oops. There it is, irrigation. And you'll notice that irrigation is the drop down. I have to select that. And then description automatically comes in from the products and services list, but I could change it if I want for the description as well as the rate. And if you go back to the exercise and scroll down, you'll see that I have talked about that right there. All right, that's it. Next up, we're going to be talking about a non-inventory product that we buy. See you then.